R um, bigger or equal than zero. Right? Now, let us see what um, the dual problem for this problem is. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to multiply each of these inequalities by new variables, uh, how do they denote them, dij. So to get the dual um, multiply um, each of uh, uh, fij less than or equal to kij by new variable dij and uh, each um, okay let's call this one this is inequality two this is inequality three and each inequality uh, two uh, by uh, uh, P uh, J, let's see, what it's J, right? By P J, uh, where P I J and P J are a new uh, dual problem variables. Uh, Right, so remember how we got the dual. We got the dual by multiplying uh, each of the inequalities by new variables and summing up uh, all the inequalities. So if you do that, what do you get? You get uh, that uh, fij times dij is smaller or equal than kij times dij and here you get sum of fij times pj well, uh, summation over i uh, minus sum here summation is over k of fj k um, j is a smaller or equal than zero and then we sum them up right what do we get if we do the summation if we do the summation we get um, the following ah okay so there is one additional inequality that uh, actually two special inequalities this is not all right so plus you see what we are missing here these are only internal edges of the graph but we didn't specify any constraints on this edge that we added that makes the flow circular so we have to say here that all incoming flow into the sink, so all i's uh, uh, such that uh, i s belongs to G, right? F of i s has to be uh, now minus the uh, all the outgoing flows, which is just flow from T to s, right? this flow uh, this has to be smaller or equal than zero and also for the source uh, so then you have one incoming flow f uh, t s minus and then you have all outgoing flows uh, from s uh, 
uh, to um, so it will be for all j such that uh, um, s j belongs to g right uh, of f s j is also smaller or equal than zero right this is the first says all flow that comes into the, the sorry all did they mess it up uh, the first one so, so this is uh, let's see what do I want to say this is uh, uh, all flow that comes in let's see no I messed it up so this should be the sink which is T right uh, I to the sink T right and then from the sink T to S and here you have the flow from T to S has to be equal all the outgoing flow from S uh, J right so everything that goes into the sink is exactly what leaves through this circular uh, pipe the pipe that makes the flow circular and everything that comes through that pipe must be equal to everything that goes out of the source and that's precisely this so these are uh, these are just the uh, inequalities that correspond that correspond to this and this and now we have to add for these two special cases so you will have some of all i's such that i t belongs to g right of f i t times uh, p t right uh, <coughs> minus uh, and then you have uh, uh, f of t s times p t is uh, smaller or equal than zero because zero times p t is just zero and here you have f t s times uh, new variable p s minus sum over all j's f of s j times p s also smaller or equal than zero okay so now we can add up all these inequalities right and uh, see uh, what kind of of uh, dual constraints we have. So what do we get? When you sum up, right, what do you get? You get, um, let's see, we have a sum of the following form. First you have positive dij, right, uh, and we want to see what it multiplies uh, the fij so this will be uh, sum over all ij's in g and then you have dij minus pi which is uh, when it is uh, on the what was on the right hand side plus exactly once when it is 
on the left hand side, right? Um, this will be Pj uh, times Fij, right? Plus we have uh, for the two variables uh, S and T, we have Pt with negative and Ps with positive. So it will be Ps minus Pt and the last flow is Fts, right? And this uh, has to be smaller or equal to what we have on the right hand side. Everything is zero except the sum of uh, K, I, J, D, I, J, yeah? right? Now, we want to compare this uh, with the original uh, problem. So, uh, and do the following trick. Instead of maximizing this sum, it's enough to, uh, so the objective can be taken to be just f from t to source, because all the flow has to go flow uh, from, through the last pipe. And instead of looking at all outgoing flows from the source, it's enough to look at the only Ts. So what is this? This is essentially sum of zero times Fij for all internal edges Ij in G plus one times Fts. So in the objective, all the coefficients in front of all variables are zero, except one in front of Ts. So this means that we want this, right, to be, um, we want this to be larger or equal than zero, right, because we want to majorize this. So we get Dij minus pi plus pj is bigger or equal than zero, right? Plus the very last one, ps minus pt has to be bigger or equal than one, right? So these are the uh, new constraints. And of course, uh, PS, PT, and P in general, PIJ and DIJ must be all positive. And the constraint, the new constraint, becomes whatever where the bounds on the right. So this will be just this KIJ, so uh, new objective is uh, uh, sum of dij times kij and we have to minimize minimize this subject to this constraint so now if now the tricky part, which you can read in the textbook uh, in detail, is, uh, you see, this is both this system of inequalities and this system of inequalities have the following features. All the coefficients are either 0 or 1. And the same applies here. Then Every variable appears only once with plus one coefficient and appears also exactly once with negative coefficient because it appears with positive coefficient 
right? Uh, when you go uh, from uh, I to J as an outgoing flow and appears uh, with a negative coefficient when it is an incoming flow. So it is outgoing here and it is incoming uh, here. So every variable appears exactly once with positive and exactly once with negative one coefficient. And when you introduce the slack variables and you do the mumbo jumbo by switching the sides, uh, one can verify that all the coefficients stay either one or zero. Because all what can happen when you replace, when you solve the slack equations for one of the variables, if it appears positive, it can only appear negative in another uh, inequality and cancel out, or it doesn't appear at all and remains with plus one. So all the variables are either uh, zero, uh, sorry, all the coefficients are zero or one. And as we do the simplex, one can see that as we try to um, maximize this objective, that all what happens is that some of the variables get assigned zero and some of them get assigned one. Right? Now, let's see, once the process terminates, so, <coughs> let's see, if, so, when the simplex process or algorithm terminates, so, Right? Uh, if uh, both uh, P i and P j are assigned uh, the same value, i.e., uh, both are either zero or one, D i j must be uh, zero. Why is this so? Well, we are trying to minimize this. So you want to make uh, as many of these equal to zero to remove the contribution of Kij. So when the process terminated, if this sum is zero, because either both are zero or both are one, right, then Dij must have been assigned zero because this will minimize uh, uh, this sum, right? Uh, so uh, Dij, um, uh, and the same applies if uh, i is 0 but j is 1 because if i is 0 but j is 1 dij can be also taken 0 and we will still have this inequality so dij must be be assigned uh, one only in case that uh, pi is equal to one and uh, pj is equal to zero, right? Because if this is one and this is zero, this sum is minus one to keep everything positive, you are forced to take dij equal to one and only in this case you will add this capacity, right? Uh, now, 
Now consider the partition of all vertices in G into uh, U equals the set of all PIs such that PI is equal to 1 and uh, uh, V is equal to the set of all uh, 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 the set of all vertices I, I guess. And V is the set of all vertices I such that PI is assigned to 0. Right? Because of the very last inequality, ah, no, here it is, this inequality, right? Uh, it's not possible that the source is uh, zero and sink is one, so source must be equal to one because this is bigger or equal than one, and each of them is either zero or one, so PS we know belong to U. Uh, so because of, of uh, uh, this, PS belongs to U and uh, PT belongs to V. So what do we have? We have that, in, that we split our flow graph into two sets. One of vertices that were assigned one, that PI, corresponding PI is assigned one, and another that they are assigned zero, and we know source is here, and vertex uh, and uh, sink is here, and DIJ will be assigned one only if left end was assigned one and right end assigned zero. So if you look, then this sum kappa ij uh, dij uh, is equal to precisely what? You see, so this is, so the dij is assigned value one just in case this vertex assign value 1 and this vertex assign value 0. So left end is in U, right end is in V. And sum total of the capacities for such edges that cross from U to V, right, has to be minimal. So this is in fact a uh, minimal cut and uh, consequently the flow is maximal flow. So you see max flow is just the primal problem and its dual precisely defines the mean cut. So it's not that it's analogy but it's just to complete uh, the translation of the mean cut max flow into a uh, linear uh, program. Okay, so look, this is highly non trivial stuff, but it's important, it is in, it's impossible to under, to overestimate how important it is. Uh, and I prepared these uh, notes that summarize the chapter from the Corman's book. So please uh, read them uh, carefully uh, at home. On the final, you will have uh, some problem which you have to tweak into a solution of a linear programming problem. So remember the. Uh, how we extended the reach of linear programming to 
allow max operator and absolute value operator by adding new variables. This is uh, in the latest version of uh, the lecture notes. Uh, so make sure you understand this because uh, that's what's awaiting uh, you for the final. Okay, I have a slight flu, so let us uh, uh, finish a little bit early uh, today and then, uh, uh, yeah, we continue on Thursday.